It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Vassar family. Annie, Cindy, Gladys, Trisha, and Susie. Ready for action. And the LaBarber family. Jim, Edie, Tracy, Gary, and Jim. On your marks, let's start the Family Feud. <laughs> with the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, but will you respect me in the morning? Uh, welcome to Family Feud. We have a great time. We come out here once a week just to visit you, bring you two delightful families. They fight it out for a chance of winning, a little glory and a chance to get $10,000. Our first challenging family, the Vassars. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Richard. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I wish I'd gone to Vassar now. I had the <laughs> Please introduce your family, will you? I'd like you to meet my sisters. This is my sister Cindy and Gladys, Trisha, and Susie. Absolutely beautiful. You're Thank gorgeous. you. Gorgeous. Where do you live? Some of us live in Arizona. Some of us live in Southern California. Well, just give me those. I live in Southern California. <laughs> Such a long drive, the other one. Gladys lives in Del Mar, and well, I live in Encinitas. You do? Yes. Well, two out of five, that's not bad, is it? <laughs> Here's a family who want to get me on the road as well as you, and they're called the LaBarber family. Welcome, Jim. How are you? Fine, 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 Good fine. Good to see you. You miss the bill? I'm sure you do. Yeah, right. Will you please introduce your family to America, sir? Yeah, this is my wife, Edie. This is my daughter, Tracy. My son, Gary. And my son, Jim. Good looking family. What do you do, sir? Well, I'm the general manager of an energy management firm in Santa Ana, California. Yes? How long have you been doing that? Oh, about eight and a half years. Oh, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Okay. Well, Jim, you're the one who brought us here. Whoever wins, you know, gets a chance to play for $10,000. Now, we surveyed 100 people. The top eight answers are on the board. Your job, try and find the most popular answer. Here's the question. When people have a lot of cash in their house, where do they hide it? Jim. They hide it in the closet. They hide it in the closet. Is it there? Yeah. My goodness, it's there, but look, darling. Annie, there are six answers better than that. In the safe. In the safe. Is there a safe? There it is. Now you control that bank. You're gonna play, you're gonna make Jim's family play. Talk it over. We're gonna pass it. All right. All right. The strategy is that you'll strike okay. out here. That's okay. I'm glad they're not money crazy. <laughs> How are you? Fine. All right. Little darling, when people have a lot of cash in their house, where do they hide it? Under the mattress. Do they? <laughs> What if it's all in penny? Well, I don't <laughs> Do they hide it under the mattress? The number one answer. Yeah. 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 That's the number one answer. 47 people said it. $62 in there. Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a lump of sugar here. I'm going to calm her down. <laughs> Little darling, short term. When I say Tracy, that okay. would be... Okay, fine. When people have a lot of cash in the house, Tracy, yes. where do they hide it? In a drawer. Okay, let's take a look. In a drawer. Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. Four answers left, $68 there. Gary. How about in a jar? In a jar? A jar. Okay. I have an uncle in a jar. Well, he's worth a pretty penny. A jar. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. We have cat burglars all over America <laughs> writing these answers down. They'll know where to go. How are you? Pretty good. good. Pretty good, thank you. Got an answer here for me? People got a lot of cash in the house. Where'd they hide it? In a sugar bowl. Sugar bowl? Sugar bowl. Okay. I think you're carrying this a little far, but let's take a look. <laughs> sugar bowl! Yeah! I cannot believe it, Jim. 
You do all these things, by the way. Is this where all your cash is? I didn't know where all my money was no, going. No, well, you'd be able to search the house. There are two answers left, $80 in that bank. You have no strikes on you. You're in great shape. Now, the girls passed to you. They're plotting over there. Or maybe doing needlepoint, but whatever it is, <laughs> yeah. you're going to give them a surprise. Give I me an so. answer here now. Uh, in a shoe. In a shoe. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. May we see, out of the one, I guarantee it's there, the way things are going. Did anyone say a shoe? Uh, it did not. Oh. That noise is your first strike. If you get three strikes, you lose control of this question. Vassars then get a chance to steal. Eating. Strong box. Strong box. Okay. Now, in the safe is up there. Would that be the same thing, Mr. Judge, or not? Don't get testy. I didn't... <laughs> Impossible to speak to these people. May we see El Strongo Von Boxo? Not that. Oh, now you're in trouble because that's your second strike. Come on, Tracy, you got one? A book. In a book? Yes. Okay. If book's up there, you're okay. But if it is not there, it's your third strike and the Vassars, you get ready because you can steal. Do we keep any money in a book? You got it! Yeah. One more. Right now, Gary, what do you say? There's $84 there, two strikes on you, one answer left. When people have a lot of cash in the house, where do they hide it? Three seconds. They bury it under the rug or something. Pardon? <laughs> they put it under a rug or bury it. <laughs> Is this a two-part answer? <laughs> Got a mini-series coming up here. Now, you, they bury it under the rug? Say bury, yeah. Say bury. I bury. just said bury. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, yes. It says two different things. One is bury and one's rug. Which one would you like? Bury. Bury. Yeah. Okay. Man, suffer from bury, bury. <laughs> Get a doctor immediately. But bury up there. If they bury that cash, you've got all the money. It's a clean sweep. If not, ladies, you can get right in this game. Bury! Uh, what do you say, Annie? Get those answers. Well, I need a... Thank you, thank you. Oh. I need an answer. Well, uh... Quickly. Cold, hard cash in a refrigerator? Refrigerator. Refrigerator's up there, and it could be when you look at those other answers. Y'all get $84, but if it's not, the barbers get money. Our refrigerator! Oh. I don't believe it! Well, they got it. Okay. You got $84, you don't have anything. Edie, I need you right now. Hey, Cindy, come on, darling. Well, that was amazing. Tell you right now. By the way, I, I did have a message. This is so you won't feel out of it. Excuse me. Oh, I had a, you made my day. Well, I understood that Cindy was upset I hadn't given her. <laughs> Very emotional girl. Thank you. <clears throat> I surveyed 100 people. Well, I didn't do it, but our staff did, and they did excellent work. The top eight answers they gave us are up there on the board behind me to this question. Name a place that people go to, whether they want to or not. Eat it. The doctors. The doctors. <laughs> May we see a doctor, please? <laughs> oh, not there. Wide open for you, Cindy. A place that people go to, whether they want to or not. How about jail? Jail? Okay. I wouldn't want to go. <laughs> go to jail. Not there. <laughs> Little Tracy, up to you. Could you repeat the question, please? Of course I can. Thank you. Not or to want they weather to <laughs> go... <laughs> Name a place that people go to whether they want to or not. Church. Church? May we see a church? Okay, it's there, but there are answers that are better than that. Turn around. Gladys, what do you say, darling? Name a place people go to whether they Down want under. to or not. Uh, hell. Hell? Hell. 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 I have a feeling we're there right at this moment. Hell! Ah! You can draw it, though. What are you going to do? Pass. 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 Yes? Don't pass go it. back there, you rat. Well, they've passed here. I didn't know. I thought it was optional to go to that thing. How are you? Fine. Okay. Can you name a place, please, that people go whether they want to or not? School. School. That's yeah. absolutely cool. Go ahead, go ahead. Right. 100 people surveyed. Did any, if any at all, say school? They did. Five cents, fourteen dollars. Got an answer, Susie? Work. Susie Good. says work. 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 Show me work. There you go. Annie. The dentist. Annie says the dentist. Now the doctor wasn't there. Is the dentist there? He is. 
41 dollars what do you say cindy a place that people uh, go to whether they want to or not uh, three seconds uh, first strike okay gladys is this the doctor or the place people go to where they want to or not uh, three seconds That's your second strike. Come on, Trisha. Otherwise, their strategy is going to work. Uh, how about the grocery store? Oh, yeah. Boy, what yeah. 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 If grocery store's there, you're alive. If not, get ready, La Barbara's to steal. Grocery store! Oh. What do you say, Jim? Jim, right here. Okay. Get those okay. answers. Court. court. Hospital. 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 Court. 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 Jim. Court. We all settled? What do you say? I say hospital. You do? Okay. Let's call the whole thing off. Hospital's up there, you get $41. If it's not there, the ladies get the money and a big lead. Hospital! Hey! You got it! <laughs> Number one, please. <laughs> Number two, please. <laughs> Here's another thing you have to go to, whether you want to or not. It's called the commercial. <laughs> Yes, friends, each and every one of you will get one of these games, a Family Feud home game. You'll get it whether you <clears throat> want it or not. Congratulations. $84 there for the doctors. The bar is at 41. Tracy, I need ya. Ladder. All right, there's not too much difference. Let me just tell you now that 300 points wins the game and gives you a chance for you and your family to go for $10,000. Now. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers are on the board to this question. Name something fake that women wear. Yep. Fingernails. Fake fingernail. All right. It's there. Three answers better than that. What do you say? Falsies. Pardon? Falsies? No. <laughs> Falsies. It's there. You're going to play or you're going to make them play? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. We're going to. Play. They're going to play Gladys. Gary, name something fake that women wear. Diamonds. Diamonds? Old fake diamonds. Oh. Not there. Your first strike. Jim? Eyelashes. Aha. Looks like one of eyelashes. Show us. There it is. Yay. 33 people said it. $51. Two answers left. And number one answer, number five. Jim, something fake that women wear. I'd say hair. You would? Yes. Okay. The old fake hair gag. Number one answer. 46 people said it. $97. One strike on you, but one answer left. Edie, what do you say, darling? Something fake that women wear. Three seconds. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, ooh, darn it. Guard, have the warm bath ready. That's your second strike. Tracy, you got one. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah? Um, rear ends? <laughs> what, part, what, what part of the country are you from? <laughs> no, the old fake okay. rear end. Fake, well, I think, yeah, fake derriere. If fake derriere is up there, you'll have all the money. <clears throat> and I would imagine a lot of weird mail. But if it's not there, ladies, you can get it. Fake derriere. <laughs> not there. What do you say? Okay. Furs. Diamonds. Furs. Furs. Julie, need an answer. Furs. Furs. Fake furs. Furs mm -hmm. up there, you get the $97, and you're going to take a big lead in the game. If it's not there, little barbers get it. Looking for fake furs. <laughs> oh, you got it. Show me number five. Jewelry. You've got $138. You've got $84. Trish, I need you up here. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, Trisha, Gary, put your hand up. Tell you right now the dollar values are doubled. All right, 100 people surveyed. Top four answers are on the board to this question. Name something that people steal from hotel rooms. Gary? Towels. Let's see, towels. Number one. You gonna play or you gonna pass? Play, play. Wait a minute. Oh. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? We're gonna play. Definitely. They're going to play. <laughs> I want to talk to you on the court. <laughs> Something people steal from hotel rooms? Ashtrays. They steal ashtrays, do they? Let's see it. 
$170 there. Already this could decide the Whittle family, Jim. I'd say linen. Linen. You're a bizarre little fellow. Do they steal linen? Oh. They don't. First strike. Edie? Bibles. Bibles. All right. We're looking for people to steal Bibles. Hundred and eighty-two. Tracy, what do you say? You got one strike, one answer left. Glasses. Glasses. Okay. If people steal glasses, we'll take a look there and see that you will be the new winning family. Oh if not, it's your second strike. Welcome to people stealing glasses. Oh, right no. now. Up to you. Right now. Two strikes on you. Name something people steal from hotel rooms. Three seconds. Lamps. Pardon? Lamps. <laughs> <laughs> all right, if they steal lamps, you got it all. If not, ladies, get ready. Lamps. Uh, Every time it okay, comes over. Okay, pillows, 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 Need an answer? Soap. Soap. People steal soap. Soap's up there. You get all that money. If it is not there, they are the champs. Soap! $66, $138. Dollar values are tripled right here. This is going to decide it. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers are on the board to this question. Name a famous uncle. Jim. Uncle Sam. Let's see it, Uncle Sam. Going to play, going to pass. Play your pass. Play your pass. Pass. Need an answer. Pass. I need an answer. Pass. What do you say? Pass. Pass. Okay, they pass to you. Starts here, Annie. A famous uncle. Remus. Uncle Remus, is he there? <laughs> Not there. First strike. Cindy? Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom, yeah. show me. Uncle Tom is there. Uncle? The man from Uncle? A famous uncle. The man from Uncle. Let's see it. Second strike, Tricia. Up to you. Um. Three seconds, a famous uncle. Uncle Fred. Uncle Fred. <laughs> uncle Fred's up there, you're alive. If not, get ready, La Barbers. Uncle Fred! <laughs> not there. What do you say right now? Okay, well, okay. Right, 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 right. Uncle Milty. Right uncle Milty. Uncle Milty. Uncle Milty, Milton Burrow. If uncle Milty's up there on there, you're the winning family. You'll play for 10,000. If not, ladies, you're the champs. Uncle Milty! Yeah. You got it! Uncle Ben! Uncle Ben and his converted life. You got $266 and nice prizes, and thank you for being here. Okay? Bye. Bye, little guy. Bye, babe. Thank you. Hey, who's going to play Fast Money? I need you out of here now. Who's going first? You coming first. All right, off you go. We're going to take a break, catch our breath, and see if they can win $10,000. Okay, champ, you're here. We have Tracy off stage, earphones on. I'm going to ask you five questions. You give me five answers in 15 seconds. Try and think of the most popular answer. If you and Tracy get 200 points, you got yourself $10,000. 15 seconds, please. All righty. Name a city people win vacations to. Las Vegas. A brand of margarine. Parquet. A clear beverage. Uh, Coke. Uh, seven Up. A part of the, your body that bends. So your back. Any jewel. Di diamond. Turn around. <laughs> See how well you did. We wanted a city people win vacations too. You said, Vegas, our survey said, 35. <laughs> Brand of margarine. You said, okay. Our survey said, 41, you got 76. A clear beverage. You said, 7-Up, our survey said, 36, you got 112. Part of your body to bend. You said, the back, our survey said, 3-115. Any jewel. You said, diamond, our survey said, you got 169. Clear the board. Fantastic. Come on back there. Tracy, come on, darling. 
You need 31 points, okay? Okay. 31 points would be $10,000, Rich. I'll ask the same questions I ask Gary. You cannot duplicate his answers. If you do, you hear this. I'll say try again. You give me another answer. Remind everyone, please, the excellent answers that Gary gave us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name a city people win vacations to. Las Vegas. Try again. New York. A brand of margarine. Oleo. A clear beverage. 7-Up. Try again. Ginger ale. A part of your body that bends. Your knees. Any jewel. Diamond. Try again. Ruby. All right, turn around. 31 points, that's all you need. We wanted a city that people win vacations to. You said? New York, you're 31 points away from the big money, our survey said. Oh, two people would have to say that. Las Vegas was number one. Brand of margarine, you said. Oleo, our survey said. Oh, parquet was number one. We wanted a clear beverage, you said. Ginger ale, our survey said. Six. No. Water, water, and 7-Up were number one. You need 25 points, a part of your body that bends. You said the knee, okay? 25 points for $10,000. Our survey said... You... See you next week here on Family Feud.